is this Macbeth, anyway? Uh, the name sounds familiar. Wait, I remember. Goliath was talking about a play called Macbeth by some new writer named Shakespeare. Uh-huh. Ever read it? No. Maybe we should. By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Hudson, is that you? Who's there? My name is Lennox Macduff, sir. I'm a friend of Hudson's. I'm, uh, concerned about him. He isn't here. You just missed him. Then I won't trouble you. Good day. Presume not that I am the thing I was, for I have turned away my former self. No, but a friend of yours was on the terrace, a Lennox Macduff. Maybe he took it. I don't know any Lennox Macduff. I'm not surprised. The name sounded phony. Lennox and Macduff were two characters in a play by Shakespeare. Macbeth. <gasps> Macbeth? Yes. Oberon sent me. Cum aescirat argentum et aurum involare. Postea pac ad speculum titania penetrare. So, how bad is this? What can she do with an antique mirror? It's not just a mirror, lass. It's Titania's mirror. Titania, queen of the third race. Third race? You know, gargoyles, humans, and Oberon's children. I thought everybody knew this. Yeah, that guy Shakespeare wrote a play about them. A Midsummer Night's Dream? Scotsmen called them the Fair Folk. The Vikings called them Dark Elves. They are changelings. Shapeshifters, creatures of pure magic, and their possessions, like the mirror, are vessels of great power. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Shapeshifters, elves, fairies? You mean the real? As real as I am, if the stories be true. Reputation, reputation, reputation. Oh, I have lost my reputation. I have lost the immortal part of myself. And what remains? is bestial. What do you think of the place? Why do you need all this? Oh, reason not the need, Father. I wanted it, so I took it. Why strewest thou sugar on that bottled spider, whose deadly web ensnareth thee about? Fool! Fool! The day will come to curse this venomous bunchback toad. May I present the High Steward of Moray and his new bride, Lord and Lady Macbeth! Curse this fog. We'll lose our way if it doesn't lift. <gasps> double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. All hail Duncan, King of Scotland, father of the king hereafter. All hail Macbeth, King of Scotland and father of the king hereafter. You speak treason, old crone. You are but half right, good mothers. Duncan is the right and proper king. King now he is, but each of you shall in turn be king. I say thee nay, we had sisters. Prince Kenmore is destined to be king after Duncan. You would lecture us on fate? Oh, my king, we, we must not take seriously the ravings of three old bedlums. You speak wisely, Macbeth. It's utter nonsense. Of no consequence.
Elisa, I've been worried about you. It's okay. I found my friends. Nick, meet the gargoyles. Guys, not Solani. I don't... What is this? These gargoyles should prove there are more things in heaven and earth, not Solani, than are dreamed of in your philosophy. Doubt thou the stars are fire. Doubt that the sun doth move. Doubt truth to be a liar. But never doubt. I love. We would perhaps better understand your pronouncements if we knew who you are. We are Oberon, Lord of the Third Race, ruler of Avalon. This lady is Titania, our once and future queen. Alas, for Goliath, I knew him well. You will not win. What are you going to do? Bite my kneecaps off? Oh, it is excellent to have a giant's strength, but it is tyrannous to use it like a giant. It is time to drop this facade, my queen. As you would, my lord. Much better. Mother? You see me as I really am, child. Titania, Queen of Avalon. And this is Oberon, my lord and husband. Come, my queen. Never have I so badly desired departure. What about the city? Everyone is still asleep. The humans will awaken in the morning. And this will seem naught but a midsummer night's dream. I will be brief. Your noble son is mad. Mad call I it. For to define true madness, what is to be nothing else but mad? This is supposed to be English? But soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. I hear Sinjin Devereaux is just hilarious as Falstaff. I had no idea you had such hidden talents. So I have reconsidered your request. I would like to offer you the part of Nick Bottom in our play. Nick, huh? He's the hero, right? Oh, he's quite essential to be sure. Coach? You got yourself a star. So, maybe now we can score some private rehearsal time? I don't think you'll be needing much rehearsal. You just agreed to play Nick Bottom in a Midsummer Night's Dream. Trust me, you have that role nailed. You know I do. Oh, is it all, uh, forgot? All school days innocence, childhood friendship? N n no, I, I mean school days, friendship, childhood, innocence. And will you, um, rent our ancient love? Uh, asunder? You thief of love, what have you come by night and soul in my love's heart? Stop! Where is the passion, hmm? The pain! Ladies, your performance is completely devoid of emotional truth. Oh, is it all forgot? All school days friendship? Childhood innocence? And will you rend our ancient love asunder? You thief of love, what? Have you come by night and stolen my love's heart? Yes. Yes! Now I truly feel your pain. Oh, that was lovely. With guards wrapped up all neat and tidy, I help. Or heard, my dear friend Spidey. I'm in a rhyming mood tonight. Godspeed, fair Helena. Call you me fair? That fair again on say. Demetrius loves your fair. Oh, teach me with what art you sway the motion of Demetrius' heart. Take comfort. He no more shall see my fair. The raging rocks and shivering chocks shall break the locks of prison gates. We will meet, and there we may rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Uh, uh, take pains. Be perfect. Adieu. How now, spirit? Whither wander you? 
Over hill, over dale, through bush, through briar, over park, over pale, through flood, through fire. I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's sphere. But either I mistake your shape and make it quite, or else you are that shrewd and knavish sprite. Are you not he that frights the maidens of the villagery? Misleads night wanderers laughing at their harm? Those that goblin call you, and sweet Puck, are you not he? Thou speaks the right. I am that merry wanderer of the night. So Goblin wasn't the only sprite to use the vault for mischief tonight. But if Spider thinks Cat evens his odds, <laughs> Gobby will open a few more pod that face. Black Cat's father murdered Uncle Ben. Ill met by moonlight. And never met we. With thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. As in revenge, the ox had therefore stretched his yoke in vain. Things spiders come not here. Hence, you long leg spinners. Hence! <laughs> I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing again. Mine ear is much enamored of thy note. And thy fair virtue's force doth move me to swear. I love thee. M methinks, mistress, you should have little reason for that. Um, uh, I beseech your worship's name. Cobweb. Shall we their fond pageant see? Lord, Lord what, what fools, fools these mortals be. <laughs> up and down, up and down, I will lead them up and down. I am feared in field and town. Goblin, lead them up and down. Monster Cobweb, get you your weapons in your hands. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding than a dream. Else the Puckalaya call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands if we be friends. And goblins shall restore amends.